think it's cellular in a movie. You did the air shot for us. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, Henry. I have. You? It doesn't mean that I'm a pro. No, no. I still have a day job. I'm sorry. Rolling. Go ahead. I've been in a chair for 23 years since uh, 1982. Um, C45 quadriplegic as a result of a automobile accident when I was 17 years old. Back in 1982, you have to understand that there was very little going on. There was very little going on in medical research, and it was very difficult to find anyone who could say anything positive in the way of support to my parents and my family who were absolutely devastated at that time. So once they looked into uh, whether or not there was research that existed, they were pleasantly surprised to find out that there was little microscopic labs throughout the world that were doing work, but no one knew they existed and there wasn't any support for it. As a result, we started a family foundation at the time. It was called the Stifle Paralysis Research Foundation. It, in 85, became the American Paralysis Association, and in 96, became the Christopher Reed Paralysis Foundation. Um, here, let me, let me step back just for one second. Uh, sure. Thank you. Clay. You learn early on after an accident the way that you're able to regain a sense of independence while you're in a very dependent state is through knowledge. Knowledge is very empowering. Knowledge is what gives people the proper tools necessary to figure out how to get from point A to point B. When you suffer from a spinal cord injury, or better yet, sustain a spinal cord injury, you're back at square one physically. You had a whole life before that you remember. And you knew, you remember that you were able to do everything else. But now you can't. So now you have to figure out how to do it again. Knowledge provides you the tools to be able to figure that out. Knowledge is what's going to allow you to be both physically and mentally strong. Two attributes you have to, you have to obtain in order to be ready for something as tremendous as a cure for paralysis, whatever that definition of a cure may be. So in order for people to be healthy and mentally strong, through our Quality of Life program, we're providing resources for people to be active, be out in society, be a part of society, being able to feel as if they can contribute. Why? Because they can. And they can contribute in a very big way. 